Okay, uh, today I'm going to talk about the game Ken Ken. Uh, that's the official trademarked name, and people that have tried to put up web pages that solve Ken Ken get in trouble because of copyright or trademark or something. And uh, so you sometimes find it called something like Math Doku, and there's a guy named Tom S Snyder who makes up amazing puzzles that are basically the same, but maybe uh, often with variations, but often using exactly the same rules that he calls Tom Toms. So, so just uh, out of curiosity, how many people here have worked Ken Ken puzzles before? So uh, a bunch of people haven't, but uh, okay. So uh, on the handout, if you're just bored out of your mind because you know everything I'm saying, um, it turns out I made a slight mistake, and on this first page of the worksheet that has the two four by four things at the top, on the back of it at the bottom right, it turns out there's a puzzle that's quite interesting that you might work on if if I'm boring. Um, I, I think what ha you know I was trying to make some easy ones for the for the worksheet. And I don't know how that one got on there. <laughs> I, 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 what happened was I was working them yesterday to make sure I could do them all, and I got stuck on it. It took a long time. I finally finished it off last night at home. <laughs> and uh, I, I think what happened is, you know, you're doing a lot of sort of logical deductions to figure out what numbers go where. And I think when I originally worked it, I, I came to, a, you know, something like, oh, there has to be a 2 or a 6 here. And then I did some faulty logic and decided it's a six or something, and six happened to be the right answer. And then once I got that, it fell through, so I thought, oh, this isn't very hard. But it turns out, if you're careful and don't make logical errors, <laughs> it, it, is, it is a toughie. Okay. Uh, the other ones are not too bad. Okay. So let me uh, explain the rules here of the, of, the, of the game for anyone who has not done it. <clears throat> it's sort of like Sudoku in the sense that in a solution, every row and every column is going to have the numbers 1 through n, where n is the size of the thing. So in this sample puzzle that's the very first one on, the, on your top page, uh, it's 4 by 4. So in this row, there'll be 1, 2, 3, 4 in some order. And in, this, in every row, there'll be 1, 2, 3, and 4 in some arrangement. And similarly, every column will have 1, 2, 3, and 4 in every one. So in other words, if you knew this is a 1 and a 2 and a 4, this would have to be a 3. Okay? And the other thing that you, um, the other clue you have is in every one of the, uh, the, oh, the um, I'm sorry, the, the board is divided into what we call cages with the darker lines. So here's a, a cage here, and it says the two numbers here, have to add up to give 7. So the 7 tells the result you're looking for, and the plus means you have to uh, add to get there. Uh, so for 7 plus and 1, 2, 3, 4, it's pretty clear there's a 3 and a 4 in here. But that doesn't tell you whether the 3 is here or down here. It could be 3, 4, or 4, 3. And it's uh, even more confusing sometimes for people with subtraction. 3 minus means, well, with 1 through 4, it's got to be 1 and 4 in here. But it could be in any order. You know, you can, it could, you can think of it as 1 minus 4 or 4 minus 1. It's just some arrangement that gives you a, the subtraction gives you a 3. Okay? And one other final warning. On the worksheet, I used, uh, I don't even know the name of it, this, this symbol for divide. And on the, when it's small, it sometimes looks like a plus. So on some of the six by sixes, look closely. It's not, I mean, once you know that, it's pretty clear which is a plus and which is a divide. Okay, so uh, what, what I thought, so, so the, does everybody understand the rules now? Okay. So what I have to do now is, with a, without any more information than that, go ahead and try and solve uh, this puzzle, the, the one on the top upper, uh, upper left-hand corner.